In this section, we're going to start learning about measurement. We're going to start with length and unit conversion. So what is length? Length is the measurement of how long something is, or the distance from one end of something to the other end, or from one side to the other side. It can be a straight line, it can be a curvy line, or it could be several lines joined together. So what are the units of length? In the modern world, we use the metric system. This means that we mostly measure length with millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. We have millimeters here in this one, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. In some places, they still use the inches, yards, and miles of the imperial system. Now the imperial system is a bit old school, so we don't really use it anymore. What are the best units for the length of an oval? Well, an oval is pretty big, so we probably would measure that with meters. The length of your hair, it's usually in centimeters, but if it's really short, it might be in millimeters. The width of your pencil, well, that's pretty small, so it's probably going to be in millimeters. And the distance from Albany to Perth, well, we measure that in kilometers. If something's really, really big, like the distance from Earth to the next star, we probably measure that in something called light years, but that's a completely different story. How do we convert between units? We can easily convert between metric units using the chart to the right. To move to a smaller unit, we multiply, and to move to a larger unit, we divide. There are 10 millimeters in a centimeter, which is where this 10 is coming from. There are 100 centimeters in a meter, so that's where these hundreds are coming from, and 1,000 meters in a kilometer, which is where these ones come from. Some examples. How many millimeters are in 167 centimeters? So we're going from centimeters to meters, uh, millimeters, which means we're going to go this way. So we're going to multiply by 10. Take our 167 centimeters, multiply it by 10, and that gives us 1,670 millimeters. Okay, easy enough. How long is 1.73 meters plus 50 millimeters? Well, to work that out, we've got to get them into the same units. So let's start by erasing our space here so we know what we're doing. So we've got meters and millimeters and because they're different units we can't add them together so what we need to do is find a common unit and usually the easiest one is to go to the one in the middle um, if i had millimeters or centimeters and i was trying to convert between those two and add them together um, i would just choose one and, and convert to that one so how long is 1.73 meters plus 50 millimeters well i'm going to go from meters to centimeters here um, so 1.73 meters times by 100 equals 173 centimeters. And to get from millimeters to centimeters, I'm going to multiply, uh, divide by 10. I'm going to divide by 10 this time. So last time I multiplied by 100 because I'm going this way, I'm going to divide by 10. I've got our 50 millimeters divided by 10 equals 5 centimeters. Now let's add those together. I've got 173 plus 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. 7 carries through. 1 carries through. And so I've got 178 centimeters. And that's about all you need to know around length and unit conversions.